everyone, your friendly neighborhood cat is back with another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are going to be utilizing the new, well I guess not that new, it's new-ish, new-ish expansion pack um, called Cool Kitchen Stuff. I guess it's not really an expansion pack, it's more of a stuff pack. But I have yet to build something using only Cool Kitchen things and they do have some quite beautiful items. Like, there are some pretty beautiful items in this expansion pack, so you guys are going to see some of them. I, originally, I was honestly just going to build a random kitchen, like, do just a random kitchen build, but I haven't, like, like I said before, I haven't yet utilized this expansion pack, and I feel like I haven't really used anything in it, so I really wanted to play around and give it a really modern and refreshing feel. I think this pack is all about you know, like getting together, coming together, having dinner parties, and being really environmentally conscious. I don't know why I get that out of this pack, but a lot of this stuff is in really like natural colors, browns and greens, so I feel like it's, I don't know, a really eco, eco-friendly eco design, I guess you could say. That's how I feel anyway. I'm sure other people feel completely different about this expansion pack. My favorite item probably is that light that I took out above the stove. I absolutely love that. I think it's gorgeous and yeah, I just think it's a really beautiful piece. I end up not using it though. It doesn't really fit into my build, which I was kind of upset about. I think it's the only item from Cool Kitchen Stuff that I don't end up using just because I had nowhere to put it and I couldn't come up with a solid plan on where I wanted it. I play around with this little indoor garden. I wanted to have like, I guess, tables and be growing herbs and stuff inside. That's the idea that I wanted. I left that table there just because I knew I was going to use move objects on and I didn't want it disappearing halfway through building this. I did end up deleting that little like get to work floor thing. I don't know. Alright, that was a little bit strange. My phone just started ringing here. But now that that's over with, um, back to the video. So yeah, like I was saying, I really wanted to incorporate an indoor herb garden just right off to the left hand side of the kitchen and I end up leaving those tables kind of in an awkward position. Um, mostly because I couldn't, like I wanted to use move objects and there's problems when you're painting a room with move objects. Yada, yada, yada. I'm sure people that have used that sheet know exactly what I'm talking about. But I also throw in these doors. You can take them out again if you download this and play it. Oh, and I was talking about before the phone so rudely interrupted me. Um, I was talking about that little fence in the kitchen area, that fence from get to work that's kind of like separating the kitchen tile from the hardwood. I don't end up adding that on the gallery. If I did end up keeping it on the gallery, then it would have considered it as two separate rooms and I just wanted this to be one room. So you can put that in later if you have the get to work expansion pack. I like totally lost my train of thought there. But yeah, so pretty much everything in this build is like cool kitchen stuff, like those little salt and pepper shakers, the dish rack, those books, um, the table, the chairs, the stools, the cabinet, the fridge, the stove, and that little spice rack to the left right next to the fridge, which is kind of cute. Everything's really modern in this pack, and I quite enjoy it. I do end up putting in that fireplace, although it doesn't make it like 100% symmetrical, I think it still works. And I like the feeling of being warm when you're eating. I always feel like I can eat more the warmer I am. I don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing. I love eating, so it's probably a good thing. And I do end up just going with a really plain color. I feel like everything else is bright enough, so why not just kind of use a boring color, I guess. And the herb garden did give me a little bit of trouble with the light above it. For some reason, like... Some things, they've done a pretty good job on lighting in this game and shadows compared to other sims, but for some reason, some things just like light up way too much when you put a light next to them and it just looks crazy. So I don't end up putting like three tables. Okay, that was also awkward. Again, I feel like my phone keeps interrupting me. 
I don't usually record when I'm at my office, but right now I am today because I'm alone and no one else is here and it's kind of creepy. So why not talk to myself and make me feel better, I guess. But yeah, just kind of throwing in items and also I'm waiting for my ride to come and get me, so... Yeah, so I'm just finishing up this build. I think we're getting into the last couple of seconds. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.